Hello and good morning. I'm Matt McCarvey, Fire Chief with Sioux Falls Fire Rescue. Thank you for being here today. Excited to have you here and help us share the message about a tremendous partnership in our community with the Helpline Center, as well as spreading the message on a criti crit critical program that we provide here to the community. Sioux Falls Fire Rescue is a proud organization. We have a long history of providing tremendous community service and uh, an effort that most people are obviously aware of is emergency response. We provide that, but that is our reactionary force. We also are very proud and uh, proud to tout here today our efforts in risk reduction and fire prevention. We ultimately know that every emergency that we can mitigate or reduce the impacts for our community is a service that we can provide that uh, further elevates our community and the citizens within it. Back in 2004, we had a critical uh, fatal fire in our community. It was very impactful for the community. It was impactful for our organization as well. That time in 2005, we stood up a smoke alarm uh, giveaway program that helped us make sure that we can get those critical resources out into the community. Smoke alarms save lives. We know that it's been proven over and over again. It's a resource that we provide. Additionally, uh, with my time as being fire chief here, I've also seen that our community is very generous with a number of resources. There's a lot of resources out in our community that people need, and uh, the Helpline Center and 211 really is that conduit that bridges that gap. So we've gotten to work with the Helpline Center on a number of other projects. They're an incredible partner. So it really was just a natural uh, uh, partnership that came together to say, okay, we have this critical resource that we know that we need to get out. People are safer when they're sleeping and when they're in an occupancy and they have working properly functioning smoke alarms. How do we do, do that? So we are an organization that's driven by continuous improvement. And while we've given out a great number of smoke detectors since 2005, we can always do better. This partnership is really an effort to elevate that. So as somebody's calling and looking for additional resources, smoke alarms can really be uh, on the forefront of that. So with that, I'd like to turn it over to Janet with the Helpline Center to share with their participation in this program. Thank you. Good morning, uh, my name is Janet Kittums. I'm the CEO of the Helpline Center. And so the Helpline Center is very, very proud to partner with the city of Sioux Falls and the Sioux Falls Fire Rescue for the Smoke Alarm Project. We've partnered with the city of Sioux Falls and many other projects very successfully. And um, part of the mission of the Helpline Center is to connect people in our community with resources. And so this just um, embodies that, connecting people with a critical resource of a smoke detector or a smoke alarm. So we're so pleased that we can capitalize on our easily recognizable phone number 211 to be a part of that project. Thank you. Good morning, my name is Brandon Fye. I'm a fire inspector investigator for the city of Sioux Falls. Uh, I'm just gonna touch on some history first and I'll go on throughout, but before 2005, there was a series of devastating fatal fires with a common occurrence of no working smoke alarms. 2005 was when the fr program first started. The goal was to get working smoke detectors in homes in Sioux Falls and surrounding areas. Sioux Falls Fire Rescue teamed up with Hook and Ladder Foundation to purchase several thousand smoke alarms. Homeowners would stop by Sioux Falls Fire Rescue headquarters and could receive up to four smoke alarms for free. The first year, uh, Sioux Falls Fire Rescue handed out over 7,000 alarms to city members. In 2011, crews began noticing when going into homes for emergencies that there would sometimes be boxes of smoke alarms not installed. This was a concern and the strategy started to change to where prevention and operational crews will go into homes and install alarms. In 2013, Sioux Falls Fire Rescue partnered with the American Red Cross. A new prevention-based strategy was launched, which involved canvassing older housing and higher risk developments within the city. Crews would go door to door and install alarms where need be. Sioux Falls Fire Rescue stopped handing out smoke alarms in 2013 and began to encourage residents who could not hang their own smoke detectors to call and schedule a time for crews to come out and install battery operated smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. Red Cross donated the 10 year encased battery alarms and Sioux Falls Fire Rescue provided one combination alarm per household and they also installed the alarms for free. Thousands of smoke alarms have been installed since 2011 throughout the city. This leads us to where we're at today. 
The program has evolved over the years, and a team of agencies and divisions within the city of Sioux Falls have teamed up to make this revamp program possible. The 211 Helpline Center will now be taking Sioux Falls residents' calls regarding smoke alarms. Our civic analytics team here in the city has created an interactive map where 211 Helpline operators can intake the caller's information. Sioux Falls Fire Prevention crews can grab the caller's information from the smoke alarm map and reach out to schedule and, and install time with the caller. Fire prevention vehicles have new graphics to let city residents know who to call for smoke alarm information. What's unique is that the graphics are both in English and other common dialects found here in the city of Sioux Falls. As we have new residents here in Sioux Falls daily, it is super important that this program is accessible to everyone. The program has evolved from handing smoke alarms out to now providing and installing battery-operated smoke alarms, alarm changeouts, one carbon monoxide smoke alarm per household, battery changeouts, bedside fire alarm and strobes for the hearing impaired, and new this year, providing hardwired, interconnected, capable smoke alarms and CO alarms. We also respond to chirping smoke alarms when the caller cannot change their batteries. Once 2-1-1 submits a beeping smoke alarm install form, the fire prevention crews will receive a text message notifying them of the chirping alarm, and they will make contact to that caller. This program's one limitation is that we will not install smoke alarms in rental properties. The landlord's responsibility is to maintain all life safety features inside rental properties mandated by city ordinance. If your landlord is not abiding by this, call 211 and either Sioux Falls Fire Rescue or the American Red Cross will contact your landlord to follow up with them. It is a proven fact and we here at Sioux Falls Fire Rescue see that smoke alarms save lives time after time. Since this program first originated in 2005, the city's fatality fires have dropped dramatically in numbers. If you do not have smoke alarms or your smoke alarms are older than 10 years old, give 211 a call and we will, get to your, we will get to your house and schedule a time to help you out. You can find your smoke alarms manufacturing dates on the back of your smoke alarms. If your smoke alarms have turned a tarnish yellow, is a good indicator that they need to be replaced. Smoke alarms may still beep if they are older when you test them, but what happens with time is the sensors inside the smoke alarms become affected by dust and grime. This could cause the alarm to not operate properly during a fire. I know you would be hard pressed to find another city our size that offers an all-inclusive smoke alarm program such as ours. It is important that our city's residents have working smoke detectors and that they are free of charge. A program of this magnitude would not be possible without the hard work of fire prevention crews, Sioux Falls Fire Rescue operational crews, Sioux Falls Fire Rescue headquarter clerks, the City of Sioux Falls city, or Civil Civic Analytics Department, City of Sioux Falls Communications and Marketing Team, 211, and the American Red Cross. One team with one goal, saving lives and protecting property. I'll hand the podium over to Betsy. Hi, my name is Betsy Schuster. I'm the Vice President of Program Development at the Helpline Center. And we are so excited to be a partner in this project. One of the goals of the par uh, partnership is to make it as seamless as possible to get individuals connected with this program. So through a simple phone call of 211, residents will reach one of our trained certified staff, will take their name and address and ask a few more questions. For example, is the smoke alarm chirping um, or other information such as that? And so that is, um, it's very simple as 211 and our staff will work with you in getting that information over to Sioux Falls Fire and Rescue to do the next steps. And they will talk through what is your need um, specifically um, and other concerns. But the main thing is to reach out first to get that connection made. And a cool thing about the partnership as mentioned earlier before is the Helpline Center works to connect to all nonprofit and government services. So. Well, when we realize when they call in for smoke alarms, sometimes there's additional needs. And so our staff is able to identify those additional needs and get to those other services that may help our community residents, whether that 
be services for food or government services or um, clothing or work, employment, those type of things. And so the Helpline Center has a comprehensive database of social service and government programs that we can connect with. And that is just a cool add-on with this partnership. So we can help with the smoke alarm uh, sign up and connection and then any other social service government questions that residents may have. So with that, I will turn it back to Brandon. All right, now I'll open it up for anybody that has questions about our program. One thing, um, we are a data-based driven team here at Fire Prevention and a lot of times you can see our work happen a lot. And I can give you one example. We had a trailer house that we installed a smoke alarm a month prior to a fire. And I can tell you without a doubt if that person inside that trailer house would not have had our services to install those smoke alarms, there's no chance he would have made it out alive. So uh, I'm sure Chief McRavey has, from his time on the floor, I'm sure he has a lot of similar stories from what he has seen. But um, it's a service that is super important to our residents. And it's never easier than now uh, for us to come out and install them. 